Okay, today we're going to unbox this Garmin GT52HW TM transducer. It's a high wide chirp, 150 to 240 kilohertz at 250 watts. And it's down view and side view chirp at uh, 455, 800 kilohertz at 350 watts. So let's pop this thing open, see what comes inside. Okay, so one bag contains everything uh, that you're going to need. Okay, let's take a look and see what comes in here. So we've got our trolling motor hardware to mount this transducer to a trolling motor. We've got the transducer itself with the 12 pin orange connector. We've got the connector collar, which will go on here. Explain a little bit more about that later. Some tie down uh, material, if you're gonna put it through a transom, little plate to cover that. We got our transom mount hardware. And finally, our instruction manual. So let's take a closer look at all these pieces. So this is everything out of the box and the packaging. Uh, very good on Garmin for supplying just about everything you're going to need in order to do this install. Uh, the screws for the transom mount transducer, they are Phillips and they are self-tapping screws. I'd still recommend pre-drilling and I'm probably going to replace those if I put this on the transom. Um, they also give you the machine screws with lock nuts which will go into the threaded inserts on the transducer here. You have all your hardware to mount the transducer uh, to the boat. They even give you this little guy to cover a hole should you have to drill into your transom to pass the cable through. Give you self-tapping Phillips screws again for that, some cable ties to hold the transducer up the uh, transom. As far as the trolling motor mount goes, it's a really cool design. This is it here. It's provided in the box as well. That again will attach to the, the transducer. They've allowed uh, these little cutouts here to allow you to t twist the cable to run up either the left or right side of the trolling motor, whatever works for you. And then it's obviously curved to fit the contour of your trolling motor. They give you a few zip ties, probably gonna wanna get some heavier duty ones, um, and a hose clamp as well to attach to the trolling motor. So the transducer itself, one really cool thing I like is they don't have the threaded insert, which is this piece here on the connector. So you'll save yourself uh, drilling a one inch hole or, or bigger to pass that through. You can probably get away with uh, just a little bit over a half inch, uh, maybe three quarter inch hole to get that transducer through. They also give you a uh, rubber washer here just to waterproof it. The transducer is very nicely made. Um, temperature sensor on it as well. You know, the epoxy that they've uh, molded this in is very, very good. They've even given you locating pins for the um, the transom mount. So they've really thought about this very well designed transducer and um, don't think anyone would have any trouble installing this transducer. The instruction manual is very detailed on the installation, comes in a variety of languages as well and uh, it's very thorough with uh, specifications, how to install the transducer. So even if it's your first time, Garmin's really laid this out and made it very simple, whether you're doing transom mount or trolling motor mount. So that's everything that's in the box on the GT52HWTM from Garmin. Uh, take a look at my other videos and please subscribe to the channel as we're going to be doing a lot more content with this product coming up in the future.